Hey guys, welcome to my March vlog. So I know by the time this like comes up or like goes up on the internet, it'll be like the middle of April slash almost the end, but that's fine. You know, it's never too late to do this. Never. I have this like massive pimple and I know, I know it's from this massive Easter egg that I ate yesterday. I mean, skin, like help your gal out. How am I meant to consume like all the Easter eggs in the universe if you're going to do this to me? Because I was really hoping I could just waffle down 10 on sale massive Humpty Dumpty eggs, but maybe this is telling me I shouldn't. So yeah, here is my March vlog. Here are some clips of some things I did um, during March. Okay, so I realized the first clip that's like gonna play next is actually in February. You know, I thought it'd be fun to include anyway, so don't come at me. Next thing is enrollment issues. I originally wasn't gonna really talk about it because it's kind of all over now, like it's all sorted, partly because I just didn't want to have to relive everything. But then I also thought like it doesn't really do my March much justice if I don't talk about it because pretty much I felt like the whole of March was plagued with enrollment issues and just like things relating to uni not working out because of my enrollment. So I've come up with a comprehensive, compact, um, <laughs> like explanation of like what happened and all that stuff. So enrollment for 2019 opened on the 12th of December. I went to go re-enroll in my degree. And then I found that I actually couldn't. So I wasn't able to complete enrollment. I wasn't able to move anything at all. On the 15th of January, I called the student center. I explained it to the person over the phone and they told me to email this through. They actually didn't have any answers. They had no idea. So they just told me to um, email this through and the team would organize it out. Little did I know that this would be the beginning of many, many calls to the student center. So on the 4th of February, I sent another email and then on the 5th, I received an answer, but it wasn't helpful at all. And it clearly showed that whoever was reading or responding to my email didn't look at the attachments I sent because I screenshotted the situation that was happening with my enrollment. I had to reopen my inquiry because the response I got didn't help me whatsoever. So then on the 15th, I went into uni, into the student center in person and I spoke to someone about it. And then they um, sent off another email to faculty services and they told me that I needed my units reallocated and the only people that could do that were faculty services. So then I had to wait till the 20th of February for faculty services to reply to me and say, hey, we've received this, we're working on it. But then on the Friday, which is the 22nd, enrollment was going to close. And so that was another thing, a reoccurring theme throughout this whole issue is that things kept closing that I kept missing because everything was, wasn't getting sorted. So they always had to like open, you know, enrollment, open adding units of study back, which was really frustrating. So then, on the 25th of February was that was the Monday and that's when uni actually officially started and I didn't have a timetable I didn't have access to any materials at all 28th of February I see received an email saying your units have been reallocated um, so now you can enroll but the issue was that because enrollment the enrollment date had actually closed I couldn't do anything at all I had to call them again and tell them that they needed to open enrollment for me so then I waited for an email to come back to say that they had sorted it 
no email. So on the 4th of March, I had to call them again. So then on the 7th of March, I called them again because I still hadn't received any replies. So then someone had to reopen one of my tickets because the wrong one had been opened or something like that. So at this point, I had called the student center so many times and I had spoken to so many different people and I had, you know, gone through so many tickets trying to actually figure out what the problem was and what they need to sort it. So then I had to send out emails to all my lecturers asking them, you know, where the lecture was, what time tutorials were because it was the end of week two and I was starting week three. So then the 8th of March was quite problematic because that was the last day you could actually add units on for the semester. And I, you know, was really hopeful. I'm trying to sort out some more of my enrollment. So they're gonna, they said they're gonna fix it by the end of today, which is very nice. Past Sarah was optimistic. Future Sarah now knows that that didn't happen. On the 13th of March, I was granted late enrollment for my units, but I still couldn't add in units myself for other things. So I had to call them again, had to wait, had to email. Um, and then on the 19th of March, which was like beginning of week four, everything was finally sorted. <laughs> And we bought a lot. I bought a lot. I have this dilemma. It's gonna be like 29 degrees today. Today it's like 7:30 in the morning, which means it's gonna be cold. But I don't wanna have to bring a jacket because then I'm gonna have to hold it. I only need it for like the first like 20 minutes. My solution is to make a really hot cup of tea, which will keep me warm and it'll last me till the 20 minutes where I won't need a jacket anymore. Ooh, I like this setup. I'm gonna go try and figure out if I can Put my camera like in my car. I have a little tripod, so I'll see. But my dashboard has like no room for like anything to be anywhere. So okay. So this is the situation. So it kind of has like nowhere to sit at all. This guy might be useful, but it flicks like that way. So maybe it'd be a good prop. But I'm a bit nervous because. Like this is like right in the middle of my car. So if my massive camera is there, then I'm not going to be able to see the road. And is that illegal? I'm not sure. Okay, so decided we're going to fit the camera in that corner because it doesn't block my view and you can still like see me there. So I've got some blue tack in the corner, some sticky tape to stop it falling. And then I've got, you know, blue tack and sticky tape there. Also back there as well and also kind of here. So last time the issue was that when I moved, it like fell forward because there was nothing like really holding it back there. Oh. Okay. 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 It's in my blood. Delta in her 
será pintor? <laughs> Oh. And yeah. <laughs> then you were like, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Because I was born to try. Um, so this next bit is David and I celebrating our two year anniversary um, by eating a big bowl of pasta and watching um I actually don't remember what we watched. Well we went to the movies to go see something that We'd been wanting to watch for a while. Oh, yeah, Captain Marvel. Um, and then for David's birthday, I planned a day a little bit earlier than the actual date. And we did it in three parts. So I wrote like little, you know, clues or like poems kind of thing about the different things we would uh, do. Actually, I just actually think we did pretty good. Um, but for us, is definitely not for beginners, and we were beginners, like a hundred percent. And then I made like a little wall of um, some different memories. Day two. So I'm drawing some things that didn't come in time from ASOS for when I was like wrapping his presents. Just a vanilla and crepe cake. Totally inspired by Stormy's cake. When I pulled out the cake the next day to take it to David's house, um, it was, yeah, it looked like that. All the coloring from the hundreds and thousands had like bled into the cream frosting. So it was all this, it was just a really big melted, Thing. I realized that it's probably like it was probably unfonded and they probably didn't use hundreds and thousands or they didn't use stuff that would bleed into the icing. It was quite devastating actually, a bit traumatizing. Instagram versus reality. <laughs> <laughs>